know, came down here for two meetings, uh, but sold 19 in the first meeting yesterday and sold 16 today. So, you know, two meetings, 35 life insurance policies sold. Um, so two good groups there. And yeah, pretty excited about that. Headed back early, which is always good. Uh, that way I can get home. Daughter will still be awake, which is always nice. And uh, get some, done, some stuff done at the office when we get back and head home, grab a workout, and uh, spend some time with the family. Tomorrow we'll be back in the office just, um, just catching up on all the other stuff that I don't get done when I'm on the road. And then Thursday morning, really early, we are headed back to Atlanta <clears throat> to fly out uh, to Vegas and um, speak on Friday and Utah at a podcast festival. So it is time for... Ah, haven't done these in a long time. Just felt the urge to put the tip out there. <laughs> it's been a long time since the tip has been whipped. So let's get in to it. I was having a conversation yesterday with a guy that's got this unbelievable, quite frankly, earth shattering technology. And it's so impactful that the problem has become how do you market it how do you get it out there so that people will try it and just like with everything else that I do on social media my my advice was the same give it away for free give it away for free give away your best stuff for free. Gary V has been talking about this so much lately and I love it every time he talks about it because it just reiterates and it reaffirms everything that I believe with what I'm doing here on social media. He said the other day, the person that can hold their breath the longest will win. I repeat that. The person that can hold their breath the longest will win. What does he mean by that? It's the person that can jab, 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 value, 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 and potentially never have to throw a right hook, potentially never have to ask for something. At the very least, the person that can hold it the longest. And as I've been on this journey with my social media over the last 16 months, having provided value after value, content, 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 day in, day out, investing heavily in all the things that we're doing social media. I've kind of gotten this crazy idea of what if I never monetize it? I don't want to put that out there because I don't want to have the recall, which is why we do this daily vlog, is the recall of, of saying that hard line, no, we're not going to monetize. From the very beginning, I said I'm not going to monetize for five years, but I've just been getting this idea of what if, what if we never monetize? And the reason I say that is because if we never monetize, it means we never had to. If we never monetize, it means we never had to. You know what that also means? That means we were extremely successful in every other aspect of life, in every other aspect of my career. If you are able to put out incredible value on a daily basis, invest heavily in all of these different assets going out, then it probably means that you are highly successful in the main focus of your career. Think about the people that typically do this. The people that typically will give out value and not ask for anything are those that have been successful over a long-term career. They're multi, multi, multi millionaires. I think of a guy like Ed Milet, who's done such an incredible job, probably the fastest growing influencer on social media because he just finally got on social media. But look at it. the guy's worth hundred, hundred million dollars. He's got all these houses and all these cars and this lifestyle. It's incredible. Of course he's going to give back. Of course he's going to provide value at, at, without asking for something. He doesn't need anything. How many people are doing it at the stage that I am at? How many people are doing it at the very beginning? How many people have documented the entire journey and never asked for anything? 
that is the true question. And that, when you talk about who can hold their breath the longest, it's not who became successful and then decided to hold their breath. It's who held their breath the longest. And I think that person, which I am trying every single day to be, is who is ultimately going to be the most impactful, provide the most value, and create the biggest change in our society. That's my goal. That's, I know, the goal of what Gary Vee's doing and the genius behind the blueprint that he has laid in front of me that I'm just following. I don't take any credit for any of that other than seeing it, understanding it, knowing the power behind it and just going all in on it. And so my tip for today would be if you have anything that is impactful and you can afford to give it away for free, give it away for free. It'll be that much more meaningful and it will bring that much more back to you in the end. It's the law of attraction. It's just the way the world works. Put good stuff out, get good stuff back, that's it. What's up, guys? If you have not yet done so, please like my Facebook page. Then next to the like button, click following, which will bring a drop down. And when it says in the news feed, click see first. This will ensure that you will always see the content that we're pushing out. The last thing that we want to have happen is for us to put out content that you actually want to see, but you don't. So make sure that you hit see first and we'll see you next time.